Hey, what's up beautiful people this is Laura welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video and it's from the officer Tatum and it's titled Tim Scott touches Sonny Hosen for racially charged attack hmm also I'm excited to check this one out to hear what Brandon Tatum I've got to say regarding this issue or subject matter let's check it out the only thing that I worry about is like a Ginny Thomas popping up Right? So you have someone that is single and someone becomes president and then he meets a Ginny Thomas. Oh, he might marry a Ginny Thomas. How do you... Is that not playing the race card? So... This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. Let me tell you guys a secret. We're going to put this link in the, in the description. I don't know what TikTok is doing, and I, I think that they're going to reimburse me for this, which I, I hope to God they will, or we lose money on all of our merch. If you go to TikTok right now, they will give 50% off and free shipping if you purchase from the TikTok store. There is no way whatsoever I will offer any of, this, any of my merch for 50% off. Now, the rumor is that it benefits me and you. I'm just keeping it real. The rumor is that they give you the offer of 50% off because they're trying to get people to TikTok, and then they're going to give me that money back. So you get 50% off free shipping, and they're going to reimburse me the 50% that you got off. Wow. Literally, there is hundreds and hundreds of people going to TikTok and buying my merch. Go to TikTok, buy the merch. You ain't never going to get this anywhere else. I will never have 50% off on all of my new products. Go to TikTok and purchase. We'll put the link here so you can go to TikTok. And if you buy on TikTok, you get stuff 50% off. It is mind-blowing. I'm, I'm, I'm honest to God truth. I'm hoping that they get the money back. I heard that they, like, trying to get people there. But y'all benefit, I benefit. You get 50% off, and they pay me back uh, after, you, after you make the purchase. So, anyway, I had to do that PSA. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, welcome back to The Officer Tatum Show. I want to play that clip again with Tim Scott um, and what he had to say about the women on The View, which I thought was one of the most disgusting things that I've heard them say. But because they're women and also because it's racism against a black man um, by black women, or a black conservative, because not everybody on there is, is was black. black so yeah. it's okay to be racist against a black conservative. That's, that's pretty much what we're saying. So let's go to clip four, and I want to play the clip again because we really need to dive into what was said on The View about Tim Scott. Roll the clip. The only thing that I worry about is like a Ginny Thomas popping up, right? So you have someone that is single and someone becomes president and then he meets a Ginny Thomas. And so if someone is not married and then they get married to Ginny Thomas, I'm concerned. <laughs> right. right. The reason this kind of wow. came up is because of something that was happening, an interview that Tim Scott did. But 2024 presidential uh, candidate, uh, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott is with us. <laughs> So here you have Justice Thomas, who's black, Ginny Thomas, who's white, and oh, he might marry a Ginny Thomas. How do you, is that not playing the race card? So, like. Absolutely, Sean, the Democrat Party and the progressive left, they are stuck in Jim Crow 1920s and 30s. What they do mm -hmm. not want is a black man who thinks for himself. You can be anything in America if you're black, except for a conservative. That's why Sonny is so radical and so disgusting with her comments. They do not want my life story to be told because it disrupts the lies of the radical left. I can't think of anything more disgusting and more disheartening to watch the Democratic Party descend down into the 1920s. So if you, you guys missed it, they were making the conclusion that Tim Scott could marry a white woman. That's, that's, that, that's what they're saying. Mm. Clarence Thomas's wife is white. And they're saying a black man, Tim Scott, may end up marrying a white woman that is conservative. And, and, and I, whatever angle they're trying to take, that's exactly what they're saying. She can blatantly get on television and say there is a problem with a black man marrying a white woman. Nice. That's what Sonny Holston said. Now, somebody explain to me if you reverse the roles and you had a white woman on television... Mm -hmm saying that it'll be a shame for a single white man to date a black woman. 
exactly like because she may be a Candace Owens. Just ima just imagine. Now let me not say Candace Owens because if you're a conservative, you don't count. Like you, you you're like not even a human, according to these leftists. What's a, what, what's another black woman that's not a conservative that's popular? I mean, let's go back to Barack Obama. Nah, because then Michelle Obama is married to Barack Obama. I'm trying to figure out a well, let's we can go to Barack Obama. We'll say if they were making the claim that what if a white man marries a Michelle Obama? Do you know what kind of backlash? They would fire this person from the show. Yeah. They would have to make a public apology. There would be people rioting and looting in the streets because a white woman dared to make a claim that a white man can't marry a black woman. But it's okay for Sonny Hostin to do the exact thing, that a black man can't marry a white woman. As if white women are, 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 are a problem. Hey. I, I don't understand how that's even a thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, we, like these people are living so much in the past. They live in the past yes. in a stronger way than the people who were in the past live. I honestly think we're more racist today than we were in the past. Yes. Jim Crow South, systemic racism. But you ask some people that lived in Jim Crow South, they, they didn't have uh, instances of direct racism every single day they wake up in the morning. They stayed away from white people. They had their own stuff. They were in their own area. They didn't go They didn't go across the tracks over the white neighborhood. They had their own stuff in their own neighborhood. Mm. I'm not saying it was right that it occurred that way, but it wasn't as is racial racially charged if yeah. they try to act like it is or, yes. or act like it was and it wasn't as racially charged as we see things that are transpiring today yes people just really were segregated and stand in their own world nowadays we intertwine in each other's world and we want to be now segregated yes we now want to hate each other while we're while we're existing together it's it's, it's mind-blowing it's crazy and women, or not just women, but people getting away with saying stuff like that is very ridiculous. Yeah. That's the real racism that goes on. Yes. It's not the fake fictitious racism that they, they create uh, overnight and, and try to make controversy out of it. The real racism is the racism and bigotry against black people black, yes. marrying white women Whites. if you're a conservative. Yeah. My wife is white. I, I like... I never think about my wife being white. I never think about it. Exactly. My wife is my wife. I never think about the color of her skin. Mm -hmm. You know, of course I could see her. And of mm -hmm. course, maybe if, if a circumstance come up where it, it makes sense to note, then maybe I will. But I never no, think no, no, about no. my wife like that. I never no, look no. at my wife like she's a white woman. I look at my wife as, that's Korean. That's my wife. The yes. woman I love. She is a person. The color of her skin makes absolutely no difference to me. If Korean was a black woman and I met her, I would, I would marry her too. It would, it's not that because she white; it's because she is who she is. Is the reason why I married her. Mm -hmm. And I and I and I think it's shameful that and, and people it's it's underrepresented the racism against black people, black men that date white women or marry white women. Let me just say it like this: that happened to marry white women. There are black men that's like, I hate black women. I ain't, I'll never, I will only want white women. But most people that marry interracially are people that just, they marry people on circumstances. Like if, as a con black conservative man, if I was a liberal, more than likely I would probably have married a white, a black woman. Mm -hmm. Because we would probably have more in common. I would probably meet her at events where black people who are liberal are at. Yes. When you're a conservative black man, your options are not, especially if you plan to get along with the person you marry, mm -hmm. your options are very slim when it comes to marrying black women. Yes. Um, and, and I'm not saying that it's impossible. I'm not saying that there are black men who don't marry black women who are conservative. It's just that in the circles that you go in as a person like myself, it, it you can, you know, I, I don't even know how many black people. Like, for instance, I was just at the uh, pastor summit for Turning Point USA. If I was a single man, there was maybe one or two black women that was there. Mm -hmm. And and I would say out of the two black women that were there, 
maybe one of them is is right around my age, but not way younger than me. But like I think right around the age where I could even consider dating a person. Um, that's two black people out of an entire event, and only one was probably age appropriate. When I say age appropriate, they're all adults, but like just close to my age. Yeah. Bruh, like what what are the options? But then you have at least. 20 or 30 white women yes that are the exact age and so your options are a little more if you roll the dice if that makes sense mm -hmm. people people may not understand that you know when i go to a turning point event i go to cpac and all this it's like 98 percent white and so if you 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 just your chances of dating and getting to know people you're gonna potentially get to know people that are white more so than people that mm -hmm. are black it, statistically but i know i know black men that are conservative and married to black women it's, it's not a it's not a a thing and a lot of it is also demographics you in arizona there ain't no black people live in arizona you know you you you're somewhere like atlanta there's probably millions of conservative people in atlanta yeah. that are black in arizona they there's five of us and we all know each other. We go smoke cigars on the weekend together. Um, you go somewhere like California, depending on where you live, there's a whole bunch more uh, conservatives. There's a lot more black people that live in California. I mean, you go down the list. You live in Baltimore. You live other places in the South. You, you, there's tons of black people that are conservative. But you somewhere like Arizona, New Mexico, Vegas, or something, you, like, you can forget about it. Wow. I always love listening to Brandon Tatum speak, especially in regarding topics or subject matters like this because um, I've learned a lot from him so far I've um, checking his videos and reacting to his videos and um, it's crazy how Sonny Hostin would um, come on, say on the live TV this, how she would um, make a racial a racist commentary and it's not a problem but if the reverse was the case like what um, Brandon Tatum said if the reverse was the case where a white person said on the national TV um, that a white man um, should not marry a black person or the white person um, is concerned that a white man would marry a black woman it would have been a problem then you see the BLM and everybody and the craziness the be on the street destroying properties and destroying everything and you see black like all of the craziness and now it's okay for a black person to say it, it, it's a problem if a black man marries a white woman like make it make sense it, I still don't get it I mean it's the fact that they want to live in the era of the segregation just bring it back and make it look like that's not what they want what what they are doing or that's not what they want because i don't get this this racist talk or racist comment it's crazy i mean why wh what is your concern with whoever tim scott de decide to marry regardless of the skin color should skin color be the first thing to talk about or to reason if you're actually gonna poke your nose into someone's relationship make it make sense this is crazy and it's really disgusting so, I mean people should look beyond skin color and marry whoever you want to marry as long as the person aligns with your belief and um, your values it doesn't matter what the skin color look like I mean I don't get it how people prioritizing skin color over character and value it's crazy but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below what are your thoughts about um what um sonny hosting have said here regarding tim scott and his relationship and everything i really love your thoughts on the comment down below um i love listening to brandon Tatum, and i've learned a lot from him god bless you sir if you are a black person that um is um, in an interracial marriage um i really love your contribution on that at what point did you um see your partner and decide this was the right partner for you regardless of, regardless of the skin color regardless of where they're from and if you're a white person who is in, in an interracial marriage likewise um i really love your contribution on that at what point did you see your partner and you decided 
your partner is the right person for you to marry and to spend the rest of your life with and um, also you can share for those who are in an interracial marriage regardless of the skin color at what point did you feel some type of discrimination if you ever felt any time of type of discrimination whatsoever at what point did you feel it and um, at what point did you decide to let it go and decide it's not going to affect you any longer i really love your contribution on that i mean everybody i've got different opinion regarding this and it's different for different people and others might also want to really learn from you as well so you can share in the comment down below for us to learn from you and your take on the subject matter you can share other useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video